Hey guys, welcome back to CB0. Welcome to video first time watching. As you can see, I'm here with Rembe's um, birthday present from Auntie Nancy. Today, <laughs> it's literally 9pm, 9.15pm. I spent the whole day just doing my assignment um, and I completely forgot to do this intro, but it went really well. I've gotten like a whole section done. Now there's actually just like maybe a few parts left and then I'm finally finished. I've literally just been um, watching YouTube videos and then this girl was doing her like introduction thing and then I was like, oh my gosh, I just remembered I haven't, I haven't started uh, the, this week's vlog. But anyway, yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. So today I got some very. Where's my lip on? It's looking dry. Today I got some very fun news. My new glasses are ready for me. So I need to go into Croydon, which I feel like is going to be quite crazy because today is actually the day that like stores are open again. So there's like a, a chance. I mean, because it's still really early, I doubt it will happen. But there's a chance that it might be really busy in Croydon. Mm -mm, don't want that. But hopefully, because it's still quite early, it won't be that busy. Okay, here is my finished outfit. <laughs> my perm is kind of going through at the moment because I got tired of wearing it just like curly so I started combing it wearing it as an afro but now I'm wearing a hat um <laughs> so the curls I mean I don't know how well they're gonna survive but hopefully they'll be okay hopefully they'll be alright I want to see if I can buy um a like a short beanie hat but I don't know hopefully it's not too busy in Korea Okay, these are the new frames. I'm back home now. This is the glasses. This is my new hat. I think I just wanted something that covered my ears because not that it's super cold in any, it's not that it's still gonna be super cold for now, but just that like in winter, my ears are always so cold because I don't have much hair. Um, and now, now it's covered up, so it's lit. I really am liking these new glasses though. They make my face seem like brighter, you know? Morning guys. I don't know what's wrong with the camera right now. It looks like there's a, some kind of filter on it. I don't know, it feels different. Anyway, today I'm basically just gonna be continuing with my assignment. I really want to finish, cause it's a video, I really wanna finish the script by the end of this week and then also make a start on a new assignment. But man, I'm going crazy with these assignments. Four more left and then I'm finally done. Good morning, you guys. Um, as you can see today, I have decided to wear my afro properly again today. I feel like I get quite tired of maintaining the curls um, because they're quite hard to maintain. But anyway, right now, um, I'm about to properly start working maybe in a few hours. But first, I want to watch this movie that I recently found out about. It's called Minari. I'm not really too sure exactly what it's about, but the person, I saw some YouTuber talking about it and she really recommended it. So I was like, okay, cool. Let me check it out. So I'm going to watch it and maybe do a cheeky little movie review after a few inches later wow okay i literally have just finished watching it that was that was a very like heart breaking story if that makes sense like it's a storyline i'd never seen before and i guess kind of never really thought about but it was it was very it was a very sad story but then i guess at the end there was like a resolve to some extent i did enjoy it though i like i definitely would recommend it it's a very they touch on a lot of different things and like really, really subtly that again, I just wouldn't really have thought about. So it kind of opened my mind up to different conversations, I guess. I'm trying not to like give any spoilers in case anyone wants to go and watch it. The actress that played the mom is actually an actress that I really like, Han Yeri. I think she's really good. I mean, the main drama I've seen her in is called um, Chang Jun Shide like age of youth i'll just put a picture of it there but i yeah i really like her so when i saw her in the like opening scene i was like oh my gosh it's her but yeah that it was really good would 100 percent recommend if you guys are looking for a film a very sad film to watch but a film a good film nonetheless um go check out me Nari. i braided my hair well it's not done yet i'm still in the middle of braiding it guys i can't seem to find marimbe like she's completely disappeared but that's tendo Oh my gosh, Rimba, you're there! <laughs> I finished doing my hair. Just thought I'd show you guys. You see this, you guys? Some people call it art. Some people call it heaven on a plate. I call it breakfast. Or brunch, I should say, because it's definitely past 12 now. 
Guys, great news. Basically, I'm gonna go and meet Melody. I haven't seen her in so long. I actually don't even remember the last time I saw her in person. So this is very exciting. We're gonna go for dinner in New Malden. We don't really know where because we don't know what restaurants specifically have like outdoor seatings now. But we assume that quite a few of them might. I mean, it looks like it might rain, but let's just hope for the best. But yeah, so me and Melody are gonna have dinner together in New Malden and we've decided that we're gonna wear twinning today. We're gonna both wear suits. Sounds pretty like strange, but at the same time, our suits are very casual. So like it's not like we're gonna wear suits for the office we're wearing like you know those trendy like fashionable suits anyway i'm very excited to see you melody if you ever see this video <laughs> Five minutes now. Uh, no, it's okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Guys, I had to borrow one of Melody's coats because I didn't I dress warm enough. You a scarf. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, yeah, because, we're like, gonna. When you're going back, you can take the scarf. Oh, like, thank you. Thank you very that. much. Wow, see, she, she's always thinking about me. <laughs> My friends are so nice. Um, we're in New Malden at the moment, but we <laughs> basically nothing's really open. So we decided that we're actually gonna go into central London. Yay! And go to Chinatown and uh, get some food there. Nice. Yeah. Melody got chicken for you guys. I can't even out with you. I haven't forgiven you for your cereal debacle. My listen, <laughs> the cereal debacle is not something I wanted to. How is the chicken feet? Yummy. Yummy, as expected. I got calamari. Sudi <laughs> is trying Korean feet for the first Korean feet. Wow. <laughs> chicken feet chicken for the first feet. time. Wait, so do I just eat the whole thing? No, because it's got bones. Just like, just oh. like bite some of the skin. What? Just, just. This is going to be way too long of a segment. I can cut it. Okay, yeah. Mmm. Really good, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's spitting out the bones. Excuse her. <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh, it's so much softer than I thought. The chicken feet was really good. And now I'm enjoying my calamari. Oh, it's so windy. Mel, what else did you order? Seafood lettuce wrap. Seafood lettuce wrap. So seafood, yeah. Lettuce wrap. Wrap then. <laughs> peaking. To, peaking. You need to get out of it with the peaking. <laughs> we have finished our meals. Melody is about to go to the bathroom. Melody's cold. Melody's cold. Suvi's cold too. But that was amazing. I would 100% recommend. What's the place called, Mel? Plum Valley. Plum Valley. The Valley of the Plum. <laughs> Guys, so Melody is really determined to keep it under 100 grams. And look at how she's doing. Oh, <laughs> Did any even go? Oh, wow, three. <laughs> good morning, you guys. It was so good, the breakfast that I made, brunch that I made yesterday, that I've made it again. I had a very fun time with Melody yesterday. And hopefully we'll be able to do it again soon sometime. I need to watch the new episode of um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, because it's Friday, so it just came out. So I'm gonna watch that, eat this, and have a good time. I have a very bad habit that like, I can't quite break of whenever I'm getting really, really close to the end of an assignment, I start to just get overexcited and just start doing other things. And I know that like knowing it, surely that means I should just be able to stop myself from doing other things, but apparently I can't. So now I'm about to watch a movie called 1987, when the day comes it is another korean film um and it's basically just all about what happened in 1987 in korea um and it was kind of like what happened before the 1988 i believe it's university protests um i mean don't get me wrong i don't really know much if anything at all about um korean history but it is something that i find quite interesting and someone recommended this film so i'm gonna watch it i think in future maybe i might want to learn a bit more about korean history because I mean, I feel like watching the movie is definitely not going to tell me about everything that happened, but it's a start, right? Later. I have just finished watching the film. Wow. It's like, I think I want to give a summary, but I don't want to say the wrong thing. But I think it was very powerful to see how everyone came together. It was very scary to see how twisted the whole situation was in the first place. And 
let me not say too much i think go and watch it for yourselves it's always good to learn more about other people's experiences and i think that film gave me a bit of insight into what happened in 1987 obviously there's definitely a much more research that i can do and as i said at the start like it was based off true things but obviously a lot was made like fictionalized i think that was the word they used so that it could flow more as a film but the film as well like it was really amazing the way the film was done i really thought that that was amazing but the story is very very sad it's a shame that a lot of the time people in power just take advantage of it and it affects a lot of other people but anyway let me not speak too much on all of that i really wanted to start getting my running schedule like back in sync you know on the weekends i'd go for jogs and then like maybe when may comes i'll be able to properly start like running again but i can't run today because <laughs> ted has gone to love bro mummy's at work daddy's at work and so i need to stay home here with my mate but it's okay i guess i could probably do some like exercise on the tv but i probably won't because i don't really care that much today i need to finish my assignment as always and i feel like i'm kind of just deciding that when may first comes like on the last day of cd year i think i'm just gonna my last submission is may 21st so i think for those 20 days i'm just gonna like go completely offline <laughs> I just won't be on any like social media uh, but I mean obviously I'll still be able to be reached if you need to reach me but anyway I don't know why I'm telling you guys it's not like you're gonna anyway guys this is where I'm gonna end the video thank you so much for watching this week of CBC I hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and if you have been subscribing this whole time then thank you thank you very much I hit my knuckles I don't know if you heard that that kind of hurt anyway guys have a lovely week I'll see you guys next week cue outro And it's cool. And it's a strut. And it's cool like that, see? Very inspiring. All right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, that's close. Yeah. Come on. Well, that was a walk on the wild side.